He leaves behind a contested legacy. The last president of apartheid South Africa, Frederick William D. Clark, died Thursday, his foundation announced. While the older generation praises D. Clark for his work, the country's younger people look back on his legacy with disappointment, faulting him for devastating policies that continue to drive poverty and inequality. In a posthumous video released Thursday, D. Clark apologized for apartheid. I, without qualification, apologize for the pain and the hurt and the indignity and the damage that apartheid has done to black, brown and Indians in South Africa. Allow me in this last message to share with you the fact that since the early 80s, my views changed completely. And in my heart of hearts, realized that apartheid was wrong. On Thursday, President Cyril Ramaphosa was at the country's parliament in Pretoria to deliver a statement on D. Clark's death. He did play a key role in ushering in democracy in our country. He was a leader of a, a party that was largely discredited in relation to the role that the National Party played in enforcing apartheid. But he had the courage to step away from the path that his party that he led had embarked upon from 1948. And we will remember him for that. The two men who have arguably impacted South Africa the most are now both deceased. D. Clark and Nelson Mandela began as enemies but ended up working together.